Hey guys, welcome back to the RK Motors channel. It's time for another Showcase Spotlight where we take a deep dive into some of your favorite cars. Roll the intro. Welcome to this week's Showcase Spotlight. We're taking a look at this awesome 1967 Eleanor Tribute car. Uh, some of you might recognize this car. I'm sure a few of you recognize this car. But first, today's trivia. How many cars were the cast of the original Gone in 60 Seconds tasked with stealing? Let us know in the comments below. The Eleanor Mustang, easily one of the most recognizable Mustangs of all time. So influential, in fact, that it made Hot Rod's list of most influential classic cars of all time. Created for the movie Gone in 60 Seconds, uh, the original Eleanor sketch was created by Hot Rod artist Steve Stanford. Uh, it's pretty well known in the Hot Rod community. And when the movie was in pre-production, circa 1995, he drew up some cars. And the art director eventually needed cars built for the film, so he contacted Chip Foose, you know, legendary Hot Rod wizard, uh, to have the car brought to reality. So when Foose clayed up a 67 Mustang to look like Stanford's drawing, he decided he would try to do something as close to what he thought Carroll Shelby would create at that time, late 90s, as he could. The design was approved by the studio and the cars were supplied by Cinema Vehicle Services. So Foose supplied the parts, Cinema Vehicle Services actually built the cars. Uh, if you've seen any movie, you've seen a movie with Cinema Vehicle Services uh, cars in it. They've been around for close to 50 years and they supply everything from comedies to actions. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell how many Eleanor Mustangs were produced for the film. Some sources say seven, some say 12. But what we do know is they were produced to varying levels. So the cars were being built as the movie was being shot and cars would be built specifically for, you know, just as a static display or as a car that needed to do stunts. Uh, there were two cars supposedly that survived and one hero car, which you know is pretty much complete car, sold in 2020 at auction for $850,000. Previously, it had sold at auction for about a million dollars. Two additional cool facts. Uh, in addition to the movie cars, an additional car was built for director Jerry Bruckheimer, and that car is an actual authentic Shelby Mustang with an FE 428, uh, as was the final car in the movie, the clunker car at the end, which had to be you know dressed down to Fort's Park. Uh, the second cool fact is the cars were damaged sequentially according to how the cars were treated on set. So for instance, if they were in a chase scene and the car got damaged and they had other cars that were gonna be shot after that, they had to damage the cars to look just like the car that had sustained damage in the chase scene. Uh, Nick Cage supposedly owns one of the movie cars and drives it periodically. 
Uh, it's not surprising considering he did a lot of his own stunt driving in the movie. He was, as were a lot of the other cast, trained on stunt driving prior to the film. So the modern Gone in 60 Seconds is quite different from the original. It shares a lot of the same plot points, but it's, you know, the movie's pretty different in feel, at least. Um, it grossed $237 million despite bad critic reviews, but, you know, what do critics know anyways? Uh, and it's special to a whole lot of people in the community, much like, you know, The Fast and the Furious in 2001. The movie illustrates kind of the culture and, to use an overused term, family around these cars. You know, here at RK Motors, we pride ourselves in selling some awesome cars, but as much as we sell metal, we sell memories and experiences. That's what only a classic car or a cool car is all about, really. This car is an authentic 1967 Ford Fastback body, so you're not dealing with any Dynacorn metal here as far as, you know, a full body. Uh, it's an authentic Eleanor replica, so what that gets you is a certificate of authenticity and listing in the Eleanor replica registry. So a little bit of the background on that. Uh, because Eleanor is a movie character, um, a lot of people involved with the original Gone in 60 Seconds own the rights to the character. So you can build a Mustang with that looks like an Eleanor, but you can't necessarily call it an Eleanor. Um, the folks most recently, B is for Build, they were doing a nice Mustang build that they were referring to as Eleanor, and they even had their car seized. Uh, Carol Shelby, he was building Eleanor replicas back in the day, and he lost a court case based on this. And what's interesting about this copyright is that Eleanor extends to, can extend to pretty much any Mustang because the character has been multiple Mustangs. It was a 67 Mustang in Gone in 60 Seconds, the 2000 remake, and it was a 71 dressed up as a 73 in the original. So this is an authentic Eleanor replica. Interesting things about the car. Of course, you have the pepper gray metallic paint uh, that was originally available from DuPont, now Exalta. Metallic black stripes. Uh, everything is Shelby inspired as far as visually. Pretty authentic to the movie car, uh, with the exception of these little inserts that someone has added at some point. An interesting thing about this car is it has a functional pillar mount fuel filler. So, if you look in here, you'll see the fuel cap. Uh, most of the movie cars did not have functional fuel fillers on the pillars. Let's take a look under the hood. Maybe quite a surprise, but what you're looking at is a five liter Coyote V8 from a modern Mustang. Uh, this is a Gen 1 Coyote V8. So uh, you're looking at 420 horsepower, 390 pound feet of torque, plenty of power for the road. Um, the cool part about the Coyote is, well, it was first and foremost, it was an evolution of Ford's mod motor, which has been around for quite a while. Very smooth engines, very fun to drive, uh, but it made about the same power as the LS3 and the Hemi, which it competed with at the time of its introduction, and still does today, in a much more compact uh, displacement. The real magic of this motor is twin independent variable cam timing. So what that means is the motor can retard or advance the timing of each cam, intake and exhaust, independently. Um, as far as aesthetics, uh, nice hood hinges, uh, aluminum radiator, some nice uh, dress up bits. But what you're really looking for here or what you're really looking at here is a car that can be driven, you know, it can be fired up and driven anytime. Uh, 428 cars are awesome. It's great to have a traditional feel, but a car like this is going to be much more reliable and much easier to deal with. So part of the Eleanor licensing is you get an Eleanor specific VIN. And one very neat aspect of this car, in my opinion, is LED lighting. Let's take a look inside the car. Uh, the inside of the car is, you know, it's, it's still pretty much like a muscle car. Uh, it does have a customized interior, but it's nothing too overwrought. Some nice TMI buckets with four-point ride tech harnesses. Custom console uh, with a pretty beefy shifter. Uh, as far as driving, you got a Shelby-style steering wheel on a tilt column above TCP pedals. One neat aspect is how they carried over the pepper gray metallic into the door panels. Classic instruments telemetry. Shelby-style roll bar. 
and modern air conditioning, modern audio, of course, because every restoration pretty much has that. It's a nice place to spend some time, nice place to turn some heads. So we can't jump this Eleanor, but we can put it in the air. Cheesy, right? I know. The first thing you'll notice about the car is the quality of the build. Uh, a lot of these, like if you were to contact a company and order an Eleanor today, an Eleanor replica, you're going to get something with like undercoated floors. It's going to be a nice car, but nothing like this where the floors have been finished in two stage and buffed, done really well. Uh, behind the Coyote motor, we have an MT82 six speed. So that's going to be really good to drive. Uh, it's, it's a factory match combo. Uh, you know, Coyote com comes with the MT82 in Mustangs. Uh, Mustang two front suspension. I know we've talked about those before. Modern characteristics and old cars. Of course, rack and pinion steering comes with that. Out back. We have a modern four link rear suspension, some nice coil over shocks. And of course, this aspect of the car is really cool, not only because it's a polished stainless exhaust system with stainless works mufflers and some nice Doug's headers, also because the side pipes are actually functional, which on a lot of the movie cars, the side pipes were not functional. Cool detail right here. Uh, we illustrated the LED lighting on the car in the engine bay. We have LED lights in under the car as well and in the interior. And finally, on the outside, American Racing Rotter wheels, of course, with some nice uh, Shelby spinners and wheel wood disc brakes. So the car stops pretty well. I hope you guys have enjoyed this detailed look at our official Eleanor tribute. Remember to like, subscribe, and share, and leave us some feedback in the comments. Anxious to hear what you guys want to see or how you like this video. Thanks.